When tackling the dividing by three facts, we use a strategy that's common for all the division facts, and that is to think of the corresponding multiplication facts. So we're dividing by three. Let's take the example 24 divided by three. So what we're saying here is what number multiplied by three equals 24, or three multiplied by what equals 24. So the students should know those facts. What we're expecting is that the students will have such a good memory of the multiplying by three facts that they think, oh yeah, I've heard of that one before. Something times three is 24. Of course, the answer is eight. And this illustrates the general principle that there are fact families or number fact families that we can help the students to recognize so that they can see a cluster of three numbers. Like this one, for example, which is a number fact family for three times seven equals 21. And looking at the triangle, we can come up with the facts three times seven is 21, seven times three is 21, 21 divided by three is seven, and 21 divided by seven is three. The idea is that students become so familiar with these groups of three numbers that go together for multiplication and division that if you give the child any two of them, they can figure out the rest. So for example, 18 divided by 3, they should be able to think of the cluster of 18, 3 and 6. 6 threes are 18, so the answer to that particular question is 6. That's it for dividing by 3. See you next time.